Hello, hello, my wonderful friends. Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Elena and I love all things makeup and beauty. And in today's video is going to be my first project pan video. I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest, but my best friend Dubs Beauty Diary, aka Danielle, was like, you really can't mess up on them. Just, you know, go for it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to go for it. So this is the first video. So what I want to first show you are the pans that I like the palettes that I already hit pans in. And the first palette is going to be from Heather Austin in Adept Cosmetics. It's the collab Heather Austin did. And I actually hit two pans on this palette. So we have, oh my goodness, there's a hair. Oh my gosh, I'm like shedding, shedding like a dog, y'all. What the heck? So we have Austin right here. I hit that pan quite a while ago. So this isn't new, but the new pan and what is on my eyes is scrubs. I just hit that today. And I'm super happy, super proud of myself. So we got two shades that I have hit pan on. And we have 12, 12 shades. Oh my goodness, I can't count today. My bad, I'm sorry. So we have 12 shades. I hit two. I am pretty happy in the shimmers are pretty easy to hit pan on. Now the mattes are gonna be a little bit harder, but I have used the mattes quite a bit. So I don't know the usage out of any of my palettes, but I am gonna go ahead and begin that when I use my palettes next. And then the next palette that I have pan on is the Nomad Ghost Town USA palettes. And I actually, my goodness, we have, we're just all hair today, all hair air hair y'all i can't ever talk and i feel so embarrassed sometimes i like mix up words and you guys are probably like probably are like what huh also if you don't know i'm doing a new type of setup in my videos i'm just going for it i'm not cutting out anything i mean i'll cut out like something if i say something really stupid <laughs> if i say something really really stupid i'll cut that out but I just want to have fun with my YouTube channel, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I did a big update yesterday. I'll go ahead and post post that picture right here. So you can see, like, you know, so you can know, you can have the vibe of what's going to happen on my channel. So, yeah, besides the point, we're sidetracked, but I have four, four pans in this palette. Yes, four. And they are pretty big pans. So we have the pan on Quicksilver. Now this is going to be hard to show, but I will try my best. Quicksilver, which is the first pan I hit. We have Roulette Nevada. We have Ghost Train, which is, oh my goodness. So it is a purple to brown shift. But I've never realized that the brown shift until right now. I was looking at it and I was like, why does it look brown? Like, it's supposed to be purple. Well, that's because it really does have the shift to it. So, Ghost Train. And then we have Gold Rush right here. Those are the four pans. And this is, if I remember correctly, an 18 palette? 18 pan palette? Yes, 18 pan palette. And I love this palette so much. I love Nomad as a brand. So they're just really, really nice. Really good. And this has a particular packaging also. I don't know if you will be able to catch it. But I have four pans in this. So I'm pretty proud of myself with this palette. And then the last palette that I have a pan in is the Keys Beachy and Peachy, Keys Beachy and Peachy palette from Nomad. And I just hit the pan yesterday. You guys, I have hair all over me. What is going? Okay, so you know what? 
It's like 90 degrees outside and I do not have my air on because it is so loud. So I'm really hot. That's why I'm wearing a tank top, obviously, you guys. But maybe my hair, it's just like the humidity, maybe. I don't I don't know, but it's whatever. But I hit pan on Conk Republic right here. That yellow shade. I hit that yesterday. So I am pretty proud of the pans that I've hit so far. So that is an update on that. And then what I'm planning to do is I picked five palettes from a category, the high-end slash luxury band, and then my affordable palettes. So I will show you the five of each category that I'm going to try to work on. Now, I'm not going to uh, obviously hit pan on all of these palettes. Uh, that would be, that'd be like two months maybe update and I don't really want to update you guys two months I feel like that's a long time so what the thing the plan is is to at least use every single shade in the palette and I have used every single shade in one of the palettes so far yes and these are palettes that I picked out that I haven't really used that much I feel like needs to get the love out of it, the usage out of it. And the first one for the luxury slash um, high end is the Ofra Cosmetics Symphony Palette. I did use this on my eyes today also as well as the Heather Austin. But I have actually used every single shade in here. But I really want to hit pan on this palette. I feel like that would be possible. Now, it definitely is a harder palette to work with. I felt like using this, I've only used this maybe three times, so it's it's not a big deal. But I definitely feel like I should get more uses out of it. The highlighter slash shimmer right here, I feel like will probably be the one that I hit pan on. But this is going to be the first one. And then the second one is the Earth um, palette from Mel Cosmetics. And this is what the palette looks like. Let me show you up close. And I really love this palette. And I just really want to get the use out of this palette. Now, it is August. So, y'all, that means fall time. Yes. I know it's not fall, technically. But I celebrate fall in August. You know what? I celebrate fall, like, all the, all the time. I celebrate spooky season all the time. I'm a big spooky person. I love horror movies. I love horror tv shows i i like all of that the pumpkins michael myers we we got the ghost face who is my my favorite and we're just off topic here is freddy krueger the freddy krueger series that nightmare on elm street oh the classics too not the not the other ones those ones are garbage well not garbage but in my opinion but the classics oh my gosh that is my favorite favorite horror classic series to watch during spooky season i watch it all the time like i just rewatch them even though i know what's gonna happen i still rewatch them because they're so good but besides the point let me move up a little bit so you guys can see the palette better but i really want this to get the use out of it so yeah i just i find it grungy and i really love a grungy tone and it i did get this for my birthday about two years ago and I really just want to get the use out of it. So that is why it is in this uh, cat in this category. And then we have the NARS Extreme Effects Palettes. And I love this palette so much. Now, it does have a shade that has came apart. So I've got to be careful. But I looked at this palette. Now, I kept going back and forth of what palettes I really wanted to pull out. But I've come to realize I just not have used this palette. It needs to get the love. It needs to get what it deserves. The money's worth. Everything. So that's why I chose this palette. It's a beautiful palette. The quality is so, so good. I find the quality of NARS to be really good. Now, this is my only NARS palette. But the reason being, and I've told you guys this before, is I feel like NARS just repeats their color stories they do in their palettes. So I'm not going to buy a $50 palette if it's just the same thing i have in my collection no offense nars i really love your brand but that's how it's going and the next one from this category is the Too faced cinnamon swirl palette and mine doesn't close all the way it's 
You see that? Yeah, the most annoying thing ever. But and it still sells like cinnamon buns. That is good. That's good because I've had this palette for three years. Three, yeah, three years now. Three years. Wow, that seems like a long time. Dang, I've been in makeup for three years already. Wow. Wow. Be like Owen Wilson. Wow. Or however he says it. Now I'm just embarrassing myself, y'all. It's okay. But this palette needs to get the love. I used to use this palette quite a bit when I first... This was, like, one of my first higher-end brands that I bought. Like, I did buy, like, the Natasha Denona Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. But this one it was really the one that I... I really loved. I And don't get me wrong, I love the Natasha Denona one. But that was after this one. So this one needs to really get the use out of it. It needs to be loved. It really does. I really enjoyed it when I had it. I used it quite a bit. But I have not picked this palette up for probably a good solid nine months. At least at least five months. Maybe a year. I, I don't know. But this needs to get the love out of it. So that's why it is in this category. And the last one in this category, speaking about Natasha Denona Retro Palette, is the Retro Palette. Um, I do have this on my eyes a little bit. I have a matte inner corner today. Yes, a matte inner corner. You know me, I love my shimmers, so that's something new. But I found out I really like matte inner corners. So, I don't really mind them. And I try to use every palette that I'm trying to use up for this project. So, I didn't pull out any newer palettes. I could have, but I didn't. And this is the palette. Such a beautiful palette. And this one really needs to get the love again. It, it's been neglected and I feel bad. I really feel super bad for this palette. It's just an amazing palette. It used to be my number one palette for a very long time. Now, when the Yucca palette came out, then that kind of was at the top now. But this one is still a really good one. So it needs to love. Okay. So those are the palettes. We have the five palettes that I'm going to be trying to use. I don't know for sure how long it's going to be. I'm hoping to update you guys every three weeks. Maybe every three weeks. Now I'm going to be doing other Project Pan videos. So this is not the only Project Pan video. This is just like my first introduction to the project. What I'm trying to do. But now we have the affordable. And the first affordable one is a smaller palette. But... I feel like it really has been neglected and it really needs to get the use out of it. And it is the e.l.f. Akasha U palette. And I just love the color story of this palette so much. Now, I have not... I don't think I've used this quite all of it yet. No, maybe... I. No, I don't know. You guys, I don't know if I used the whole thing and it's only four, four pans. That's how neglected it was, you guys, and it just needs to get the love. It needs to get the love, and this one I'm really going to try to work hard on because it is a little bit on the older side, and the older palettes, so whatever newer palettes I have, which actually all of these are older. These I got around the same time. Yes, I got these around the same time, so they will probably be used more like, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to use the older ones first. Get the love out of those before they expire. Because I don't want to put expired makeup on my face. I already have bad acne as it is. So, I don't need that. So, this is the first one for the affordable one. And then the next one we have is Coast is Clear from ColourPop. And I love this palette so, so much. I did a whole video on this palette two years ago when I first started my YouTube channel and I really found out that I really like this palette. This palette was super good. It's amazing. The quality is amazing, but it has been neglected and it needs to be used. So that is why it is in this project pan. Then the third one, and this is a new palette to me, not a newer palette that's come out, but a newer palette to me. And I feel like I can really do good with this. Now, I tried to use... Oh, my gosh. My bad. I tried 
to get a neutral palette from each collection from each collection like the category that i'm doing the affordable and then the high end and this is the neutral one this is going to be the nude mood from color pop and the neutral one from the last one was that Too Faced one and if i keep looking down it's so that way i can tell you the correct ones yeah the correct ones so this is what it looks like a very neutral palette but very very beautiful and i've used this actually so it's not like i haven't used this before but i find it really enjoyable i i like it it's pretty good the quality is amazing i was gifted this from danielle danielle like you're the best thank you for gifting me like palettes because i'm on a no buy if you didn't know that unless i have gift cards to use then i can use gift cards but otherwise i am not allowed to buy any type of makeup okay within the sense of if it's something important and i run out like if i run out of concealer and i don't have any concealers then i'll pick one up if i run out of film you know what i mean etc cetera, etc cetera. but palettes i have like eight billion of those so i don't need to be buying any of those but this one so stunning and it needs to get the love so this was going to be the neutral palette out of the category and then the next palette we have is on a whimsy and i need to stretch out my legs give me two seconds so we have an autumn whimsy from ColourPop, and this one it's been neglected all right it needs to now i did use this quite a bit actually when i first got it but since then it's just it needs the love it really needs the love you guys it's such a stunning palette though so i'm putting it in this project because it's just stunning and it needs to get the love and plus it's a little bit older so i try to pick up older palettes out of the collection out of my collection and it is on the older side and then the last one is my first colorful palette i ever got is the blueberry muffin palette from bh cosmetics and this just now i would never be getting rid of this palette even when it expires i would never be oops sorry about that i would never be getting rid of it this is my this has memories you know it has really good memories it was the first colorful palette that i picked up and for that reason i cannot get rid of it but it never has gotten the use out of it and let me tell you i've only used one one two three three shades that's it three shades out of this whole palette and i've had this palette for three years you you know how neglected that is that's definitely neglected and that's not okay that's not okay at all this needs the love so that's why it's a beautiful palette amazing quality so i love it so yes okay you guys so that is the project that i'm going to be doing with those palettes I'm going to be doing other little project pans. So I'm going to be doing, I just did my eyeshadows. Next video is going to be my complexion products slash lip products. So if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. So that way I know that you guys like the type of videos that I do. Don't forget to subscribe. And till then, I will be back with a lot more makeup content. Till then, stay beautiful, stay healthy, and stay safe. Bye.